Okay guys, I'm back in Genshin Impact. So I want to continue the Archon quest. Before that... Is this the Adventurer's Guild? Yeah, this is Catherine. Add Astra Abyssosk. Add Astra Abyssosk. Welcome um, to the Adventurer's Guild. Yeah. Uh, I bet it was Catherine. Yeah, Monster Catherine. <laughs> okay. So now I can report here so uh. And yeah, I'm already ranked 30 Alright, I think you explored enough Let's uh, talk to the locals, continue eh? So, Bolai You too wish to bear witness to the right of dissension? As a businessman myself, the 17 predictions given last year made what's more there's been oh, a rumor Ningguang? going around that the Tianchua herself, Ningguang, has been acting secretly in the shadows. She wants the rocks created by Geovision holders to be exempt from taxation. Wow, that's some super professional legal stuff, that is. <laughs> to be on the pulse of the predictions and the market is what makes this harbor what it is. Among the seven, Rex Lapis is the oldest deity. The oldest. His keen sense of strategy is well trusted among his people. Understanding the predictions as soon as possible can make all the difference in making your fortune. Okay. And the third one is down here. Right of dissension. Oh yeah, that reminds me. Isn't that today? Once a year, Rex Lapis bestows upon us his divine prediction, guiding us on how to run Liu for the coming year. Last year, it was the Yuhang of the Liu at Qixing that was given the honor of asking for the divine prediction. Yuhang of the Liu at Qixing. Both I don't know. Ooh, Paimon knows this one. Mon's status to freedom as Liu is to contracts. Okay. Liu has a strong focus on business and trade. The Liu at Qixing of the seven enterprises of Liyue oh, control over Liyue. Of the seven enterprises. That's what foreigners always say. The true control over Liyue will always be held by Rex Lapis. The Qixing is comprised of mere mortals. Rex Lapis is a god. Mondstadt's god is nowhere to be seen, whilst our god is forever with us. You mean Venti? <laughs> oh, so uh, this Rex Lapis... Is forever with us. Stay in Liyue long enough and you'll see. Okay. Given that you just left your godless city, <laughs> it's time you experienced what it's like to be in a city whose god has walked with it through all of history. Great! Then we can start our experience off with the rate of dissension. Good choice. Then get going. To the high ground. Alright. Go to Yujing Terrace. Um, where is that? The commission quest region has switched to Liyue. Oh! Oh, so now my quest will be in Liyue, not in Mondstadt. Well, yeah, I guess it's time to change to Liyue now. <laughs> because Mondstadt's uh, quests are quite about the same. Yeah, since I'm in Liyue now, might as well let the quest be in Liyue. <laughs> Paimon heard that the best time to make a wish is today, during the Rite of Dissension. Oh, Wanna there's a lot of people. And Tian Quan says, is that Ningguang over there? Isn't it? <laughs> okay, that's Ningguang over there. Halt! Those not involved in the proceedings are not permitted to go any further. Oh, okay. Kill Joy. Can't go any further. Wait and make a wish at Eugene Terrace. So we can't go there, I guess. We can't go in the center. <laughs> All right. So, Changshun, please place incense in the sensor. Oh, you also want a little adept eye luck too? <laughs> Seems you know a lot. Making a wish during this time is sure to get you the blessings of both the adept eye and Rex Lapis himself. I've already made my wish, so you can take this. Great, thanks! Okay. I wish I could find my sister soon.
Oh. Okay. May your wealth multiply in the year ahead. Let's go for the second one. Your first time in Liga? Actually, it's my first time to see the Rite of Dissension too. Mm -hmm. Ah, look, that's Miss Ningguang of the Liu Shixing. Yeah, Ningguang of the oh, Liu Shixing, okay. Only those who have control in Liu can preside over the Rite of Dissension. Oh, alright. Oh yeah, not sure if you knew, but most of the Adepti appear in the form of various beasts. I heard that when attending these kinds of formal occasions, Rex Lapis himself appears as a celestial cross between two of Liu's ancient mythical creatures. Ah, sorry, I shouldn't interrupt your wish. Please, take this. I wish I could get some leads from the Geo Archon. Okay. Great! Now that we're all done with the wishing, guess we can just wait here for things to get started. Uh huh. Mm. Who knows how long that Miss Ning Wong lady is gonna take? <laughs> Join the crowd and wait for the right to begin. Okay. So let's see. Hmm? We gotta get up front. We can't see Squat back here. Yeah. Who? Oh. The hour is upon us. The sky is turning dark. Oh. Is that? What happened? Rex Lapis has been what? What's going What's on? What's going on? Did she just say Rex Lapis is the Geo Archon is dead? No oh, way. No, the Millilith. Looks like they're nabbing suspects who got too close. Paimon's freaking out. The killer is amongst us. Wait, we got close. Are we suspects? Wait, where are you going? It was a god we faced off against when we first arrived in this world too. We can't fall into their hand. Yeah. I wonder if it's the same case here. Oh, no. Escape from the middle. There's middle a whole bunch of soldiers out there too. We have to escape. Oh my Your god. Right Really? But can we even get up? Oh my gosh. Oh, we have to escape like that. Okay, wait. How? Okay, I can't go anywhere there now because... Uh... Alright, we have to do this sneaky thing again. Oh no. Are you kidding me? Not this sneaky thing again. Oh my gosh. Eh, hey, but how eh? Running won't work. <laughs> I don't see any way we can go there. How do I go through here? 
This is possible because they are not look, they are not changing direction. But doesn't seem possible. Where do I even hide if I go there? Think that I can go up here. Okay, I'm on the building. That makes it better. There's a chest here. Is this an answer from this world? How do I get out? Are there guards here? I don't see any. There's one over there. It's really telling me to go that way, but... I'm pretty sure there are people down there. There's another guard there. Oh boy. Oh boy. Who oh, doesn't see me? There's one guard turning around, damn it. Oh, okay. Uh oh. Wait a minute, I've seen him before. Stop! Stop! Come with me. Okay. this guy call me child child oh that's how you pronounce it child okay child what so we're supposed to do <laughs> on you <laughs> no no not at all it's an alias of sorts and hey, yes Mondstadt, uh, vision i don't suppose you came across a senora by any chance uh yes actually senora child child He is, isn't he? Oh, no. Don't worry. I'm not looking for a fight. But you are. You are one of the... Senora gave you quite the bad impression, huh? Pfft, that woman. Can't say I'm a fan either. Right. Let's forget all about her, shall we? Um... I'm here to help you. Help? I don't need help from the Fatui. Go leave. Hold up. 
Help? What do you mean, help? Yes, help. I'm not a bad guy. Okay, perhaps I'm kind of a bad guy, but I'm not here to give you any trouble. <laughs> perhaps I'm a kind of... Oh my Would gosh, it be too wait. much to ask for you to keep the sword sheathed? Uh... I thank you for your knightly nobility. I heard of your deeds in Mondstadt, so I couldn't help but notice you during the proceedings back there. And because I had my eye on you the whole time, I know it wasn't you. Someone else was clearly behind it. Okay. But, regrettably, given I'm a Fatui envoy from Snezhnaya, there's no way I'd be trusted after something of this magnitude. The ruling Chi Sing of Liyue has always been overly suspicious of us. Well, can you honestly blame them? <laughs> <laughs> Guess I shouldn't try to deny that. Okay, sure. Maintaining a distance between strangers is probably a good idea. Either way, I'm already used to it at this stage. But right now, if you want to clear yourselves of any suspicion, you need to get yourselves to Northland Bank. Northland Bank. Staying here isn't an option. As the old Liyue saying goes, the walls have ears. Okay. Talk to child at the Northland Bank. Okay, I thought his pronunciation is Childe or something. <laughs> but he's a Fatui. He's one of the Harbingers. He's not like Signora. Um, I have to be. I have to get used to this going up thing. It's confusing me. Where am I supposed to go? Northland Bank. Correct. This bank was opened here in Liwa by Snezhnaya. Though everyone knows Liwa is the most enterprising in Tevat, Snezhnaya is not short of change either. Yeah, well, poorer nations don't seem the type to have diplomats that come around acting the way yours do towards the Knights of Favonius. <laughs> <laughs> Here, let me give you this. What is that? This is a... I'm not sure exactly. Sometimes <laughs> all money can buy is things, and not a name for oneself. All I know is that it's a sigil. A sigil to keep the mighty and illuminated Adepti from bringing harm to you. A sigil. A death die? If you head north from the harbor, then west from Guayli Plains, you will eventually reach a stone forest known as Jueyun Karst. The people of Liyue believe it to be the abode of the Adepti. Isn't it just a legend? Legend or not, they believe it. As such, offerings to the Adepti are made at its borders. Nobody dares venture in. But I have no need for believing. Not when I know for a fact that the Adepti truly exist. Okay. Hate to admit it, but your Fatui intel seems alright. But why would we go looking for Adepti anyway? <laughs> oh, my little friend. There are plenty of reasons mortals seek the blessings of Adepti. Money, health, love. But you, you will go for justice. Justice? The Chi Sing will already have dispatched the Millilith. They'll be seeking out the assassin from amongst the onlookers. But how could a mere mortal kill a god that can sweep aside entire armies? Mm -hmm. Rex Lapis never gave up his power as a god. This level yeah. of crude response is beyond what is called for. Suspicious, yeah. How suspicious? You think the Chi Sing did it and they're pinning it on someone else? Or they're trying to hide the true culprit? Hmm. Or to hide something else. Hard to say. Even now, the Northland Bank wouldn't be able to hold the Millilith off for long. But the Adepti can clear you of any wrongdoing. Okay. Liyue was founded by the Geo Archon and the Adepti. Of course, it was built by force. Look for them, and be faster than the Chi Sing's messengers. Oh so boy. you may give your version of events first. Okay. If there is anyone that can help you in Liyue now, it can only be the mighty and illuminated Adepti. Adepti, huh? Then suddenly we're in for two we side. <laughs> what? Meet the that time Julian Cars. Okay. And I've already unlocked the statue of the seven here. <laughs> Meet the that time Julian Cars. What does that mean? Situation of permission. A token land up from child of the Fatui. Normally the people there only hold rituals to worship the Adepti. However, he who holds this token may safely enter the residence of the Adepti. Okay. Oh, here? And who might we be? 
Those that dare enter Dreyun Karst. What? Uh, I was sent here. Please take a look at this. A sigil of permission. Many a season has passed since one was last in the presence of such an item. He before you is the mighty and illuminated Adeptus, Moon Carver. Speak, Moon Traveler. Carver. What business have you here? Actually... It's the Assassin. They Bruh. dared to flee here to Juryun Karst. Assassin. Sir, we've already stepped too far into Juryun Karst ourselves. We... Ah, there's no choice. Apprehending the Assassin is top priority. We must press on. Disturbing our borders. See them gone. One will not have interruption. Wait, are we supposed to fight them? Oh no. Fight with support from the adept guy. Oh what? We have to fight them? Hold nothing but Okay. Two arms. Holy shit, wind. we are really Take fighting the them. Alive. Wind blade. <laughs> oh wait, my strength is full again. Disappear. What? I have infinite Hold up. I need to keep doing this. Okay, we've digressed at your purpose, traveler. Lapis during the rite of dissension. Yeah, what happened actually? And then place suspicion upon the attendees. <sighs> what actually happened? Traveler, of the unjust accusations placed upon you, one has become aware. The mind knows its answer. Though one must consult with one's fellows, lest the mind be misguided. Go. Take your sigil of permission. Carry with you a message. Okay, who should I look for and where should I go? Mountain Shaper and Cloud Retainer can be found here. Cloud Retainer, I've heard Only of that before. Fate will decide Mountain if Shaper, I don't find know. Them. Only fate. Okay. There exists a conqueror of demons, a guardian Yaksha. Go oh, to Wangshu Inn. Wangshu Inn. There you shall seek him. Alright. Oh, alright. I didn't expect like that. <laughs> okay, so what now? Go to Wangshu Inn. I've heard of that name before. Leading treasure hoarder. Have mercy, almighty Adeptus. I beg you. Show mercy upon me and my brother. Spare our lives. What's wrong? Who are you? What's going on? We asked you first. Yeah. Oh. You enjoy safe passage in Joyun Karst. It can only mean one thing. You must be Adepti messengers. Yeah. Sent here to rescue me and my brother. Um. No. What is he talking about? Really? Oh, have mercy, mighty messengers of the illuminated Adepti. I <laughs> beg you to save us. My brother and I, we only came here because our family is poor. And we heard tell of treasures hidden in the amber of Mount Hulao. Mm -hmm. It was stupid of us. But all we wanted to do was to find enough treasure to sell and support our family. We followed the path up the mountain, but suddenly... The amber that swallowed up my brother Li Dang. Oh. I ran away and made it this far before it dawned on me. We were trespassers in the abode of the Adepti. And this I was our see. punishment. I had no idea how to rescue my brother, so I just started praying for the Adepti to have mercy right here on the spot. And now, <laughs> that long last, okay. two messengers come to my aid. What? We're not Adepti messengers. We just want to find the Adepti like everyone else. No, 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 
You, you must be messengers. You have to be. I have no idea which Amber trapped him. Please, you have to rescue him. Fine, we'll grab a look. I beg then. you, show me some Adepti mercy. Or should we just say of your transgression, your predicament, and your repentance when has become aware? Sure, let's, why not? Thanks be to the Adeptus <laughs> of Mount Hulao and to their messengers. Never will we be so foolish again. Whoa, check you out! When you speak like <laughs> that, you actually make a pretty convincing Adepti messenger. Okay. Well then, uh... I was gonna ask him about where to find the Adeptus, but he seems pretty one-track mind about rescuing his brother right now. Yeah. Shadow the Amber on the mountain road. So, he said that Li Deng got trapped in Amber somewhere on Mount Hulao, and that they were following the path the whole way up. So let's follow the, the path down from here, and make sure to be on the lookout for Amber on the way. There are animals trapped in this. I assume the trap person is inside this thing. I might be wrong. Oh yeah, it is. <coughs> what happened? You, you rescued me. Oh, thank you. Oh, and have you seen my brother? Yeah, he's on His the top. His name is Li Ding. We were climbing the mountain together. I just hope he didn't get trapped in Amber too. He was the one who sent us looking for you. So he's safe then? Oh, thank you. I will head up to find my brother now. All right. Here's hoping I don't run into any more Amber on the way. <laughs> so this Amber thing, they just catch you or something? Thank you for rescuing my brother, oh mighty messengers of the illuminated Adepti. Have you ever seen the Adeptus here? What? No. I mean, like everyone else, we've heard that there's an Adeptus living in Mount Hulao. The regular folks like us would never have the chance to meet them. No way. Unlike you guys, you're Adepti messengers. So it's a whole different story. Anyway, we have trespassed in the realm of the Adeptus for long enough. We should get going. Thank you, mighty Adepti messengers. Okay. Yes. Thank Boy, it'd be super helpful if we actually were Adepti messengers. Because <laughs> it seems like this Adeptus has got a real temper problem. But it's not like we've done anything wrong, so... Hopefully Who dares trespass on mountain my mountain? Shaker. Oh. I didn't even skip the uh, audio, what the heck? <laughs> that was Mountain Shaper. Foolish mortal, come forth and receive your punishment. I didn't even skip, what the heck? Meet Mountain Shaper. So he's in. You intrude upon the sanctity of Mount Hulao. You destroy the amber of my mountain. And you free a thief whose freedom is not yours to give. The thieves' ignorance was an affront to the Adepti. But your actions are an abomination of the highest order. Wait, we can explain! Uh, Mooncarver sent us. Mooncarver? Trusted a mere mortal as his messenger? Is this a sigil of permission? One is surprised to find such things still exist in the mortal realm. In the beginning, Rex Lapis cast them for the mortals with his own hand. Few were made then, and thousands of years on, fewer still remain. Speak. One shall listen to the matter which brings you here. Then one shall verify the truth thereof. You would be wise to speak the truth. For Liyue is not so far from here that one would be easily deceived. Okay. Rex Lapis. Assassinated? At the right of dissension? Mm hmm. What mortal in Liyue, nay, in all the world, would conspire to commit such foul treason? Or perhaps the more pertinent question is 
What power in this world could aspire to achieve it? Rex Lapis charged the Adepti with the protection of Liyue, and we have always honored this duty. As the people have prospered, so have we gradually withdrawn into the mountains. Indeed, this was a gesture of goodwill towards humanity. Mm -hmm. But now, alas, Rex Lapis, gone. Traveler, of the matter you have relayed, one has become aware. One now knows why Moon Carver has sent for us. Once one has dealt with certain matters here that require my attention, one shall convene with the other Adepti. Yeah, uh, can someone explain the Ember situation? I'm Uncan. Okay. Adepti always have magical powers in storybooks. Seems it's true in real life too. You know, like how grass is actually Adepti hair and rivers are actually Adepti <laughs> saliva. There must be something similar going on with the Amber. Amber must be crystallized Adepti. Really? Your nonsense <laughs> knows no bounds. Okay, no. This Amber is produced by a flower that one has planted here, called the Karst Crawler. Karst Crawler, okay. The majority of the plant is hidden underground. When stepped on, it produces amber to trap the invader. Ah, I see. After taking up residence here, one planted many karst crawlers to ensure that the tranquility of the mountain would remain undisturbed. Over the years, they have helped to prevent many disturbances. But in the process, they have also trapped many curious things. Oh, so the amber... Is alive? The ember. The ember. <laughs> Correct. As in the character Thus, ember. One may not leave this place in its current state for fear of the risk to innocent lives in one's absence. One will depart as soon as one has attended to this matter. One trusts that the manner of your departure will be swifter in nature. Okay. So we completed this. Now we are supposed to go to search for cloud retainer. Okay, cloud retainer is the one I've heard before. Okay. So where is cloud hey, retainer? Who put this table here? They've even set it ready for dinner. There's a wine jug and everything. Oh, they even have the guest names carved into the seats. Here sits retainer. Uh huh. Who are the others? Here sits Guizhong. Guizhong. Here sits Rex. Oh. Maybe Rex is short for Rex Lapis. Yeah, but, but who Paimon is Guizhong? But has no idea about Guizhong. As for Retainer... Well? Hmm. <gasps> that's it! When Moon Carver was going through the names of his Adepti buddies, yeah, that's one he said there was one called Cloud Retainer. So this must be where Cloud Retainer and the other Adepti have their dinner parties. <laughs> <laughs> How about we cook up some extra special dishes for the Adepti? We're sure to get Cloud Retainer's attention that way. Really? But cook. what do Adepti even eat anyway? Paimon has no idea. Hmm. People must make offerings here all the time. Guess all we can do is look around the area for any leftovers. Maybe that'll give us some ideas. Um, do you think maybe it's at all possible <laughs> that the Adepti might like to try really? some sticky honey roast? I guess we're gonna do sticky honey roast. And I think uh, I observe this, don't you? Examine traces of cooking. It's very clean here. Whoever cooked here last obviously likes to keep things neat and tidy. I'm on bed. They were making an offering to the Adepti. Looks like we got us some Matsutake and some raw meat. Okay. And what do you know? The recipe is right here. Oh. This chef was a super organized person. We got Matsutake. Someone has definitely cooked here before. Do you think they were making an offering? 
looks like they didn't use all the ingredients. Let's see here. We got tofu. some snapdragon, <laughs> some lotus heads, some tofu. Whatever they were cooking, it sounds complicated. Hey, look over there. They left some notes too. Yup, it's a doozy. Paimon's not surprised they had to write it all down. It's a lot to remember. We should read it carefully. So it's a recipe then? Wow, the ground is covered in flour. Pfft, what a messy chef. Hmm, huh, seems there's meat in this pot. But Paimon can't tell which kind. Do you think whoever cooked this made it as an offering to the Adepti? Hmm, Paimon can't quite imagine an offering made of flour and meat. Huh? Our messy chef dropped a piece of paper Okay, on another the floor. recipe then. Let me take a look. So, uh, offer jewelry soup, offer mora meat. I have to cook them, okay. And matsutake meat rolls. So, one, two, three. Oh, a, do <laughs> a domain? Really? Visit the adapter's abode. Yikes, level 45. Herein lies the abode of Cloud Retainer. The adapter's desires not to see guests and the way is shut. A lack of care for one where one lays their head is common among them. Do you truly wish to enter? Well, Cloud Retainer's abode. Okay, sure. Only Ningguang is level 45, you know. <laughs> oh boy. So I'm kind of underleveled here, except for Ningguang. Alright, here we go. So it actually doesn't matter when I do this quest. If the world level goes up, everything goes up. <laughs> Alright. Meet Cloud Retainer. Sounding. One senses the presence of a sigil of permission. Okay, One knows me. not why you have come, though the sincerity of your offering is clear. All Hence, right. you shall be granted an opportunity. Find your way through mine abode, and you shall receive an audience with the Adeptus when you see. Okay. Rotate. What? Uh, rotate. Clockwise? Counterclockwise? Uh, let's try clockwise. Oh, okay. So it doesn't. Look, I think both doesn't matter. Is okay. So that's what this button is for. Wow. So what am I supposed to do? One. Oh, it's already light up. Oh, better than eh? one five four. One five four. Challenge complete. Wait, there's two more chests though. <laughs> Three, five, one, four. Okay, I see. It. So I have to somehow go back there then. <laughs> okay, wait, let me. Get this chest we go. Here we are. Oh, there it is. That's Cloud Retainer. One is most impressed. The path that leads through this abode defies those of ordinary abilities. The one before you is the Adeptus Cloud Retainer. Now speak of the matter which brings you here. Uh, did you build this whole place? Did you design all this mechanism? You surmise correctly. This place did one self-build, as did one design the mechanisms within. Okay. In fact, even Gui Zhang and Rex Lapis themselves found one's technological accomplishments to be worthy of commendation. This place is huge, and there are so many mechanisms. Do you really have this whole place to yourself? <laughs> What's it even for? Did you build it as your private mechanism workshop or something? It's 
Just like the stories say, the Adepti leave the human world, find somewhere to go be a hermit, and then they research and invent mm. all these amazing things. One is simply not partial to the tedium of social interaction, and wish to find some peace and quiet. Okay. Find it one did. Shortly after which, you arrived bearing your sigil of permission. But enough. Yeah. <laughs> State the matter which brings you here at once. You have disturbed the tranquility of this place for long enough. Right. So we explain what happened in the Harbor. Rex Lapis. Assassinated. Yeah. How can this be? Such a heinous crime. Who would dare? The notion is so preposterous as to be unbelievable. One shall have to verify the truth of the matter independently. Perhaps one shall quash Liyue at first, then convene with the other adepti. Excuse me? Wait, what? Did you just say squash Liyue Harbor? Are you seriously gonna wipe out the whole city? Only a response of sufficient magnitude can negate the possibility of further incidents. Are you supposed to protect the people there? The Adepti has sworn to protect the city. This reminds me of Storm Terror thing all over again. Hold up. It is as you say. But if Rex Lapis has indeed been murdered, then Liu is in great peril. To delay in quashing the threat is to invite further disaster. It is precisely because one does not wish to see further suffering. That exceptional measures are deemed necessary at this exceptional time. Yikes! That's not... Quick! You gotta think of something! She wants to squash Liyue flat! And it doesn't seem like she's bluffing! You accepted our offering. That makes this a contract. Exactly what Paima was gonna say. We made all that delicious food and gave every last bit of it to you. We were hoping you might help Liyue out, not wipe Liyue out. Yeah. Contract. A cruel irony that you should appeal to the notion after the merciless murder of the god of contracts himself. God of contracts. The people of Liyue seem quite content to dispense with their contracts. They are quite adept at taking that which is composed of black and white and turning it grey. Nevertheless, since you come here in the name of contracts, Far be it from one to abandon one's own contractual obligations. Least of all when you come bearing a sigil of permission. <sighs> Rex hmm. Lapis infused these sigils with a deptal power when he first cast them. That power once aided humans in battle. Mm -hmm. Most of the sigil's power has long since worn off. It is but a keepsake now. This keepsake cannot be taken as proof of your trustworthiness. One must investigate the claims that you make independently. This, no doubt, is Moon Carver's very reason for summoning us. Your audience with the Adeptus before you is now concluded. What? Leave at once, and... Let's step no further. Really? <sighs> okay, so, wait. What happens now? I don't think there's anything else. I expected some boss battle, but okay, there isn't eh? Doesn't matter if I'm level 45 or not. So now go to Wang Shu Inn. I wonder what's gonna happen. Hmm. Okay guys, I think I'll end the video right here. This is already 1 hour plus already. From... Well, talk to the locals and then go to that, uh, that ceremony thing. Suddenly... The Geo Archon or what do you call it, Rex Lapis is murdered? How did that happen even? And now we follow the Adepti all the way until Cloud Retainer. <laughs> and now I don't know what's gonna happen. No so me on an adventure in ages. Come on, let's go. Yeah, I think I'll end the video right here. That's good enough for this video. So thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.